Hi, this is Eric Haley from Max Fitness. Uh, today's video, I wanted to uh, I put my brace back on because I wanted to um, show people exercises they should be doing while they're immobilized. Uh, I wanted to say that it feels pretty crazy to put this back on. It brings back a lot of memories uh, of how tough it actually was. And um, I just want to say you're going to get through this. Uh, first thing, I want you to subscribe to the channel. I'm going to keep putting up videos. Um, check out my other videos, please. Um, I, I went through the whole process from when I had the injury all the way up until now. I'm about a year and a half uh, removed. And I can do everything that I could do before, uh, including a lot of things that I've gotten a lot better at. So just have faith and just keep going, keep pushing, have a great mentality, eat good foods, do all of your exercises. And um, so let me show you all the stuff that um, you should be doing while you're mobilized. So in the beginning, from week zero through the first week and second week, you sh you're going to be immobilized. You have to get used to the pain. You're going to have a lot of swelling. So this is the time where you don't have to really worry about exercises. You just have to get used to um, the injury, let your body heal. Okay, so while you're mobilized and laid up, the most you're going to be doing are the ankle pumps to keep the blood flow. And you're going to be trying to do quad contractions. You won't have a lot of success with getting the full contraction, but you really want to do it. You want to hold it for five seconds and release. Hold it for five and release. These are things that you can do all day long. Okay? Also, during this time, in the beginning, you're probably going to need somebody to help you out, but you want to try to get used to this. It's going to be hard in the beginning, but just keep working at it. Know that you're not, as long as you're mobilized, nothing's going to happen to you. You're not going to tear it again. You're very, very safe as long as you're locked. Okay? So getting up, put a towel underneath, hold yourself up, get yourself down. I remember doing all this stuff. Get your crutches, all right, and you want to get up as much as you can, okay, and get used to being in this situation, okay? I remember always getting up as much as I could, trying to use the bathroom just to get up every once in a while, keep the blood flowing, your legs are going to feel very heavy. Getting back to where you need to be. All right. Underneath again. Getting up. I remember this is a big accomplishment for me to be able to do that by myself. From about week two on, all right? This should be a part of your routine all the time. Getting up and down. Up, down. It should be easier at this point, all right? Because you've worked on it that much. Okay, now by week two, I was off the crutches because my doctor informed me that I should be working on getting off of them. So from that day on, I practiced walking, walking, walking without. But the next progression from there is to have it on the opposite side, get used to using one crutch. Okay, and even when I was fully off, I'd say from week two, week three, I was still bringing my crutches around with me. Okay, again, down, up, and down, okay? And these are the exercises that you should be doing at this point on, it's about leg raises. Okay, so the hardest leg raise that's gonna be for you will be the supine leg raise, okay? So you want one leg bent, and you want the leg that's immobilized to be straight. In the beginning, like I said, this is the hardest raise for you to be able to do. So you want to put this underneath, right? Lay back, and you want to help it. Okay, so you want to make it a little longer. Grab from here, all right? And up, all right? Help you, help you be able to do this or have somebody, all right, get you that lift underneath 
to be able to come here and then help yourself come down. Up and down. Up and down. The best way to, for me, honestly, uh, I would have my wife come over, lift my leg up for me to help me lift, and then I would bring it down myself. Help me lift it up, I'll bring it down myself. You can get a towel, you need a towel longer than this one to be able to do this, because you want it to be all the way out there. Lift up, down. Now you want to get 12 to 15 reps, all right? Then, you want to do a lying side raise. Again, 12 to 15 reps, all right? Then you want to get, from this position, same thing. 12 to 15 reps. Work your way over. Same thing. All right, eventually you'll be able to do this with no problem. Also 45 degrees, no problem. Do this all day long. Uh, 12 to 15 reps of each, three sets of each, three times a day, every single day. Then, instead of the ankle pumps, you're gonna be doing dorsiflexion, plantar flexion. So I'm flexing up and down, up and down, getting used to being on your feet. If you have to hold on to a wall, hold on to a wall. If you need a crutch, hold on to your crutch. All right, I like to superset this, okay, after 20 reps. I used to like to come, and then you're gonna go side, 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 side. Also, 20 reps on each side. All these exercises are doing is getting the blood flow, getting used to being on your feet, keeping the hips strong, okay? And after going side to side, it was back, 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 back. Just getting used to this, okay? And then right back into it, as much as you can. And then all day long during this time, quad contractions, quad contractions. Getting up and down, getting up and down, being used to being on your feet, okay? So those are the main things while you're immobilized that you should be doing, okay? In the beginning, it's about healing, all right? Getting used to trying to get up, being on your crutches, up and down, quad contractions, ankle pumps. Once you're used to that, okay? It's about trying to get off the crutches, still being immobilized. Then the biggest thing are gonna be still doing quad contractions, but instead of ankle pumps, you're gonna get used to doing leg raises. Remember, 15 reps of each, all different angles, okay? Three sets, standing up, not doing ankle pumps anymore. Now you're doing the raises, right? And while you're standing, doing the, these raises for your hips again, strengthening the hips, okay? From the side, back, and walking around as much as you can, okay? So, again, Eric Head from Max Fitness. These are the things that you should be doing while immobilized, all right? Do these exercises every single day, all day long, okay? Get used to doing it, because then by the time you start to get um, unlocked on your brace or they're telling you that you can do exercises um, that are going to be a little more active with the bend you're going to be that much more ahead of the game okay so again subscribe to the channel and keep keep uh, look at the exercises and all the videos that I was doing before through my process and look out for more videos from me alright thank you